I think that life is ceremony. And when you live in a way that you're being responsible and accountable to all of creation, then life becomes a ceremony where uh, you honor and respect all, all, all of creation. And I think that all of creation will hear you and they'll honor and respect you too. So it's reciprocal. When I look at justice, I see it as all one. I don't see like social justice social justice, because the environment is part of everything. You know, it's part of who we are, it's part of our culture, our language, everything is based on, on, uh, on the, the environment. There's lots of laws, I guess, natural law, the way things are supposed to be, and how we're supposed to be in relation to that. There's taking what you need, giving back, you know, those kinds of principles have, have always been a law, you know, the law to live by. Well, we always lived in relation to the land and you took what you needed and you took care of it so there would be some next year. Now what Namazawin means is living a good life, seeking a good life, living well. And that's not just for people. That's for all of our relatives, all of the entities, all of the all of creation, because we cannot be well as people unless the trees are well, unless the water is well, unless the animals are well, unless the medicines are well, unless we're able to pick berries. So it's a holistic idea about what um, being well is. And I see that as being our way of seeking justice. So justice isn't just for people. So it, uh, Indigenous environmental justice disrupts this binary that exists between people um, and environment. I think that everyone's view of justice is colored by what we see in the world. One of the overriding principles of Haudenosaunee culture is using a good mind. And one of the things that that means is that you approach the world with the best of thoughts. It's a very different process and if you approach the world that way then justice is inherent in that. Because your belief and understanding that the good that you do for others is because they're doing good for others also. So if someone is not doing that, then everyone has a stake in that. Because it means somewhere along the line, then we've all gone somewhere that is not right. So there's a very group-oriented thought process there. You look at those trees, they're so beautiful. You look at you know the, the sky, the blue sky, the clouds, the water that you see and all the beautiful people. So that's how you should be in the morning. That's how our, that's how our language is. And it's directed, you know, like it's, it, it has that focus, you know, on the environment. And, you know, you want to keep it beautiful. You know, you, you want to be happy with where you find yourself. And the custom of our people, you know, um, uh, in the morning, you know, when they found themselves in that situation, it was to put down that tobacco, you know, because they wanted to acknowledge, you know, where they find themselves uh, uh, equal, you know, with all that there is. And so, uh, you know, that uh, that's the way we understood, you know, living uh, with the environment, you know. In our languages, we don't translate it as water in our language. We have a different interpretation. What we say uh, about water is said in, very, in two short syllables. We call it nebe. And so when you say ne, ne, you're showing, you know, whatever it is, you know, that you, you want to show, ne, ne. So you're, you're showing, uh, you're showing um, uh, yourself when you when you add be to it that's like uh saying you know uh the uh, the current manifestation of who you are is your be is your biological self so when you say nebe 
you're telling or I'm telling you that um, the composition of who we are is water. And that's scientific. Thank you.